How's it going guys? Welcome back and thanks for tuning in to this Apollo Kicks video. Today we will be rolling out an already iconic Chunky Donkey colorway on a pair of classic all white vans. If you like this custom, they will be available for purchase on my website. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching y'all and make sure if you enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. For today's custom, you're going to need acetone for prep, a pencil, a roll of tape, and your custom color mixes. You're also going to need a custom stencil that I do have for sale on my website. A lot of people prefer to draw it, but since I'm using an airbrush, I decided a stencil was the best move to get that factory finish on the pattern. I do use a heat gun here and that's simply so that I can make the stencil adhere to the leather a lot properly. That way when I airbrush the paint doesn't seep through the cracks and mess up the paint job. Now that the shoe is taped off and prepped, it's time to apply the paint. I'm using flat black for the cow pattern and I'm adding too thin so my airbrush doesn't get clogged up in the process. Whether you're using an airbrush or a paintbrush, it's always smart to do light coats and a lot of coats. So for black, I typically try to use four to six coats as opposed to two to three because black does come on a lot easier, but the more coats you do and the more time you let them dry, the paint will adhere to the leather properly and it will prevent cracking in the future. As you can see, the first couple of coats on this green are coming out a little spotty. That's why you want to do more coats and light coats so you can get that full coverage so the end result can look factory. Me and your chick, yeah we neighbors. As you see, I'm also using a heat gun to speed up the drying time. If you have one, I highly recommend using it because it does get your work done faster, but it also does let the paint adhere to the leather a lot smoother. I waved and said I'll see you later I got I got As you can see I've used a lot of masking tape in this custom already but to be honest with you prep is everything so take as much time as you can when you're prepping to make sure you get a clean factory finish in the end OK 
Okay, bring it back, bring it back. I'm the man in my area, huh? What you thought? I remember that. Bring it back, bring it back. Just got my interior done. Yeah, I'm nice. Let it sit in that. Bring it back, bring it back. Yeah, that's my neighbor. Anything she want, I'ma give her that. Bring it back, bring it back. Let me get some sugar. Brown sugar. Just spent a G on my truck yeah. Just spent half of my paycheck On bills that I had back when I ain't had none yeah. Loved the white girls back in high school, son yeah. But then high school, man, I ain't have one yeah. But when I graduated, I was getting acquainted But let me tell you what I found, dude, it ain't that fun Yeah, make room for my attitude Ay. I don't say shit, I'm mad at you Ay. I get quiet when I'm mad at you Ay. You say, wow, that's incredible Damn. I make kiss, girl, I'm credible Damn. I make kids, I was on complex. complex I went right up to the office with a few of my friends And I spit my shit right in front of the camera Yeah, that shit was lit as fuck, real talk yeah, that shit was lit, cuz I'm dead serious too, real talk Yeah, cuz I went right up in this shit too I was like, yo, what up, I'm Dazo Dave So if you haven't been able to tell up to this point I've been making a lot of my patterns By simply covering the entire area in masking tape Drawing out my pattern And then cutting it out with my X-Acto knife This is another way to make stencils And I highly recommend you doing this If you do a lot of freehand work because this will always make the custom look factory as opposed to freehand work where you can make some mistakes. Anyway, anyway. I got flavor. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I met your chick. That's my neighbor. My neighbor. I got flavor. Oh yeah. Yeah. Me and your chick. Yeah, we neighbors. That's my neighbor. I got so this is what the custom looks like in the end. First, before I start painting the yellow, I do have to lay down a white base coat, and that's simply because if I didn't lay down this white base coat, I would need a lot more coats of yellow, since there are dark colors that I'm painting over. This is the last step to the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate to hear any feedback. Also, remember that I will leave my website in the description below. Uh, you can go there for all your customization needs. Also, I do sell a lot of custom accessories and apparel as well as the shoes that I make here on my YouTube. So please feel free to check that out if you support the channel. Anyway, I'll let you guys finish up the video in peace. Thanks for watching.